Hello and welcome to TVC News. Christian leaders have been asked to use their influence to preach unity and tolerance in the country. This comes after the recent execution of Christians by the so-called ISWAP. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu attended a Passover feast and brought back this report. For members of Hand of Fire, the feast of Passover has become an annual tradition. Armed with palm fronts, adherents walked in their hundreds round the Gondo area of Lagos State, praying, singing and dancing to the music provided by the band. On the return from the procession, they bowed and ensured their foreheads touched the ground at the entrance before marching into the church. The church overseer says the feast plays a significant role in the lives of his members. We appreciate God that is the one that perfected the work of redemption in our life. And we know Moses instituted the feast of Passover in the land of Egypt. They killed goat and ram. But the one we are doing here now is the blood of Christ. We are celebrating the blood. That is why we can never see any sacrifice here again. So with the blood of Jesus is our Passover now. Reacting to the Christmas Day executions of Christians by the Islamic State West Africa province, the preacher said he couldn't agree more with the president that religion must not be allowed to divide us as a nation. He reasoned that Nigerians should jealously guard the unity of the country. We pastors, we have a role to take. We need to continue praying. If God arrested their mind, they will not be able to do such thing again. When we continue praying, there will be divine intervention and there will be peace in the country. The clergyman says the coming year holds positive growth for the country and Christians in particular. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.